What's going on, everybody? Uh, well, we're back for another Saturday video review. But while I was prepping some stuff for the site and some other things I was getting done, I figured I'd put in the final chapter and coming up on one of my favorite parts of the whole movie. So I just got to watch this real quick before I talk about what we're going to do today. Alright, so what we're going to do today, talk very briefly about a uh, couple items I have that are actually one of my most favorite things that I own, and that is uh, I have two prints, two 16 millimeter prints of uh, a couple of the Friday the 13th movies. Um, I have Friday the 13th Part 2 and Friday the 13th Part 3, and um, just to kind of give you guys background for those of you who don't know anything about film, 35mm um, film is what you see in the movie theater. 16mm film, obviously, is, is a little smaller than that. These were um, produced for TV studios, so they would basically show these um, or ship these out to the TV stations, and that way you could play them at midnight. And since these were made for the TV stations, uh, they are actually edited films. So no breasts, no nudity, no swearing, but you do get the corny inserts, which is very spectacular all by itself. And now, some people may ask, why would you own something that is cut or edited? And I think I've mentioned on the site before um, that I just, I, I think the edited versions are, are just as cool to watch as the actual versions themselves that came out in the theater. Um, so anyways, so I'm just going to open this up real quick. And for anybody who's seen a film reel, there's nothing new here to, to really take a look at. And so there's two, there's two reels for each of these movies. And, you know, what, what sucks is you, gotta, you basically have to take an intermission to, to watch each of these movies. So you run through one reel, and then you just got to flip it around and go to the next one. And, you know, these are probably, you know, part three is about an hour and a half. Um, part two is an hour and uh, I think 22 minutes and since they're edited down it's even shorter <laughs> so but not much shorter uh, maybe by like I don't know 30 45 seconds maybe a minute um, the one I really want to get is the final chapter that I want that edited version because that that's the version I used to have on VHS tape and um, well, I taped off a of television and that has all of the deleted scenes that they actually filmed um, or that they, they, they had filmed that they didn't use but they inserted in for, for TV and I think most of that's on the DVD that just got released last June so but uh, yeah so that's that's pretty much it like I said I've played these a couple times they're a blast um, my wife has watched one of them with me one time and believe it or not she's not the biggest fan in fact she probably just humors me most of the time um, so uh, I would open up this one, but it's kind of it's more of a pain, as you can see. It's got the straps on it, and um, it's the same kind of reels inside of it. So, but uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So those are my 16 millimeter made for TV edited prints of Friday the 13th Part Two and Three. Um, also, um, for the contest I just put up for the Jason Takes Manhattan Japanese Laser Disc. Um, surprisingly, I haven't been getting a lot of submissions for that, and I really thought since the poster contest for the sequel went so well the month before, which is basically kind of the same thing, you know, you just come up with something creative to depict your favorite scene in Jason Takes Manhattan. And I know a lot of people don't like the movie, but there's got to be at least one scene that you guys like. So um, please, you know, please don't don't feel like you can't do something that's worthy of being judged. I mean. It's all about creativity, and if you have something really creative, you know, we'll probably pick you guys to win. So, anyway, that's my soapbox for the night. So, all right, guys, and uh, make sure to take a look at that interview I just did with uh, James Mangrum with his uh, final chapter bust, which is phenomenal. And other than that, take care, guys, and 
I will talk to you next weekend.